Hey guys, welcome back. Mixed Media Girl here. So, today we're going to do a hopefully fun pour using quite a few colors. Um, so basically I've mixed up a bunch of different blues and greens. And then I'm going to also be using white, black, and this is a uh, copper. So, this is going to be exciting. Well, I've also got a purple here, of course. Must have purple. So, we did white, copper, purple. Let's do some black. And this is a 10 by 20 canvas. So this is a dark green. It is Blick Rick acrylic paint. This one here is a bluey green which I mixed up of a few different acrylic paints. This green here, um, I mixed just green with bronze in there. So that's like a nice metallic green. And then we've got, of course, blue. And then this is a turquoise color that I mixed up, once again with a few different paints. And then we're going to go again with white, because right now this is pretty dark. And we're going to throw a little more copper in there. And honestly, this is probably more than enough paint. <laughs> but we'll see. Alright. I'm not going to flip cup it, so I don't have to pour the whole cup out. Let's get everything out of the way here. And I'm going to just pour it along the canvas like this. Actually, I think it's a pretty good amount of paint. Let's get in here with some lighter. Okay, good. So, obviously I have more paint on this end than this end. So I'm gonna run it down this way just a little bit here. Just so I've kind of evened it out a bit. There we go. I do like these. I love these stripes, actually. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run it off over here. And then I'm going to run it back the other way. And guys, in the description will be um, all the materials used, including my ratios and everything. So... Please check that out before asking all of the usual questions. There we go. I like that. That's quite exciting, actually. All right. So let's let that sit there for a bit and process. And then we'll come back in and we'll do our close-up. Okay. So we're back. I decided I actually want to do a couple more things to this. And there are some of you that are going to think that I totally ruined this and some that think I made it 10 times better. Um, so I'm going to add some glitter. This is Recollections Chunky Glitter. Let me focus on that. There you go. Iridescent Black is this one. So I'm going to just use this to add a little more interest along here. I don't want to go too overboard with it. Like, I'm not, like, personally the world's biggest glitter fan. Not anti-glitter, just I think you can definitely have too much. But we're going to chunky glitter this up. Good. I think maybe a little bit in here. 
kind of give it the geode feel a little bit. And we'll go in here. Okay. I think that's enough of that. Don't want to overdo it. All right, and then I have some just very fine silver glitter, which I'm going to apply a little bit of it. This is not chunky at all, it's the super fine stuff. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get it only in the spots that I want it without kind of getting it everywhere. I think that's good. Okay, once again, I think I shall stop before I go too far, <laughs> if I haven't already. <laughs> All right, I actually quite like this. So let's bring it in for our close-up. Okay, here we go. And for all of you who feel like I totally messed it up with the glitter, I'm sure you will let me know. That wasn't sarcastic. All right, um, so here is the bottom right corner. And uh, we've got the chunky glitter in there, which you can see kind of has purple undertones, which is why I chose that. I love this kind of um, lacing sort of in there. Honestly, reminds me of scales a bit. Over here, I put some of the chunky glitter as well as the fine glitter. So there's that. <laughs> In the camera, it looks like the glitter looks like it's totally like rainbow, but it's not. <laughs> All right, then we have kind of the middle section here, and I put some of that fine glitter in there. There we go. And then this is probably my favorite section where there's this bronze lacing through here that really does look like stone. I really like that and then I also really like this green and blue stripe down here so I put a little bit of the fine glitter in there not too much a little more chunky glitter over here and then a little more of the fine glitter over here so there you have it something a little bit different that I don't normally do I hope you guys enjoyed this please feel free to let me know what you think also, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.